In the World Wide Web, a query string is the part of a uniform resource locator containing data that does not fit conveniently into a hierarchical path structure. The query string commonly includes fields added to a base URI by a web browser or other client application, for example as part of a HTML form. A web server can handle a hypertext transfer protocol request either by reading a file from its file system based on the URL path or by handling the request using logic that is specific to the type of resource. In the case that special logic is invoked the query string will be available to that logic for use in its processing, along with a path component of the URL. Structure A typical URL containing a query string is as follows. HTTP Example com there. Name equals ferret. When a server receives a request for such a page, it may run a program, passing the query string unchanged to the program. The question mark is used as a separator and is not part of the query string. A link in a web page may have a URL that contains a query string, while HTML additionally defines three ways a user agent can generate the query string, an HTML form via the form. Slash form element, a server-side image map via the as map attribute on the IMG element with a, a, IMG as map slash a, construction, an indexed search via the now deprecated as index element, web forms. The main use of query strings is to contain the content of an HTML form, also known as web form. In particular, when a form containing the fields field 1, field 2, field 3 is submitted, the content of the fields is encoded as a query string as follows. Field 1 equals value 1 and field 2 equals value 2 and field 3 equals value 3. The query string is composed of a series of field value pairs. Within each pair, the field name and value are separated by an equal sign, equal. The series of pairs is separated by the ampersand, ampersand. While there is no definitive standard, most web frameworks allow multiple values to be associated with a single field. For each field of the form, the query string contains a pair field equals value. Web forms may include fields that are not visible to the user. These fields are included in the query string when the form is submitted, this convention is a W3C recommendation. W3C recommends that all web servers support semicolon separators in addition to ampersand separators to allow application X www formal encoded query strings in URLs within HTML documents without having to entity escape ampersands. The form content is only encoded in the URI's query string when the form submission method is GET. The same encoding is used by default when the submission method is POST but the result is submitted as the HTTP request body rather than being included in a modified URL. Server-side image maps URL encoding Some characters cannot be part of a URL and some other characters have a special meaning in a URL. For example, the character can be used to further specify a subsection of a document. In HTML forms the character equals is used to separate a name from a value. The URI generic syntax uses URL encoding to deal with this problem, while HTML forms make some additional substitutions rather than applying percent encoding for all such characters. The HTML specifies the following transformation, characters that cannot be converted to the correct char set are replaced with numeric character references, space is encoded as plus or percent 20, letters, numbers and the characters asterisk and underscore are left as is, all other characters are encoded as percent %hh hex representation with any non-ASCII characters first encoded as UTF-8, the octet corresponding to the tilde is permitted in query strings by RFC 3986 but required to be percent encoded in HTML forms to percent %7e. The encoding of spaces plus and the selection of as is characters distinguishes this encoding from RFC 3986. Example. If a form is embedded in an HTML page as follows, and the user inserts the strings a euro or oh, this is a field a euro and a euro or oh, is it clear? A euro in the two text fields and presses the submit button, the program test CGI will receive the following query string. First equals this plus is plus a plus field and second equals was plus it plus clear plus percent 28 already percent 29 percent 3f. 
If the form is processed on the server by a CGI script, the script may typically receive the query string as an environment variable named query string. Tracking A program receiving a query string can ignore part or all of it. If the requested URL corresponds to a file and not to a program, the whole query string is ignored. However, regardless of whether the query string is used or not, the whole URL including it is stored in the server log files. These facts allow query strings to be used to track users in a manner similar to that provided by HTTP cookies. For this to work, every time the user downloads a page, a unique identifier must be chosen and added as a query string to the URLs of all links the page contains. As soon as the user follows one of these links, the corresponding URL is requested to the server. This way, the download of this page is linked with the previous one. For example, when a web page containing the following is requested, a unique string, such as EOA72CB2A2C7 is chosen, and the page is modified as follows. The addition of the query string does not change the way the page is shown to the user. When the user follows, for example, the first link, the browser requests the page foo HTML. EOA72CB2A2C7 to the server, which ignores what follows, and sends the page foo HTML as expected, adding the query string to its links as well. This way, any subsequent page request from this user will carry the same query string EOA72CB2A2C7, making it possible to establish that all these pages have been viewed by the same user. Query strings are often used in association with web beacons. The main differences between query strings used for tracking and HTTP cookies are that, query strings form part of the URL, and are therefore included if the user saves or sends the URL to another user. Cookies can be maintained across browsing sessions, but are not saved or sent with the URL. If the user arrives at the same web server by two independent paths, it will be assigned two different query strings, while the stored cookies are the same. The user can disable cookies, in which case using cookies for tracking does not work. However, using query strings for tracking should work in all situations. Different query strings passed by different visits to the page will mean that the pages are never served from the browser cache thereby increasing the load on the web server and slowing down the user experience. Compatibility Issues According to the HTTP specification, various ad hoc limitations on request line length are found in practice. It is recommended that all HTTP senders and recipients support, at a minimum, request line lengths of 8,000 octets. If the URL is too long, the web server fails with the 414 request URI too long HTTP status code. The common workaround for these problems is to use POST instead of GET and store the parameters in the request body. The length limits on request bodies are typically much higher than those on URL length. For example, the limit on POST size, by default, is 2 MB on IIS 4.0 and 128 KB on IIS 5.0. The limit is configurable on Apache 2 using the Limit Request Body Directive which specifies the number of bytes from 0 to 2,147,483,647 that are allowed in a request body. See also, Clean URLs, Common Gateway Interface, HTTP Cookie, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, URI Scheme, Web Beacon, References. External links, RFC 3986.